Starbucks. They're everywhere. I walk by four alone every morning on my way to work. One day recently, I wondered, how many Starbucks are there in Manhattan? I know there are a lot. Some hundreds. I don't know, maybe like a thousand? In excess of about 150. 999 octillion, 999 septillion, 999 sextillion. Uh, I'll say about 120. The answer? 171. Then I became obsessed with the following thought. Would it be possible for someone to visit every single Starbucks store in Manhattan within one day? No, I think that's totally impossible. No. 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 Not within a lifetime. I decided to find out. To succeed, I would have to hit a store every seven minutes for over 20 consecutive hours. I have to make a purchase in every store and consume at least part of the product. But first I had to figure out how I was going to do it. Problem one, transportation. I decided a bicycle was the best way to pull this off. I needed to do research. I assembled a team to put together a plan. We figured out store hours, locations, and the route for the day. If I was going to visit all 171 stores, I knew I had to build up a tolerance to caffeine. And together, we came up with a solution to minimize bathroom time. It was the night before the event. As I made last minute preparations for this endeavor, I still had my doubts. Could I really visit all 171 stores? I was encouraged by my new friend, Marklin Baker. Mark, good luck with the Starbucks challenge. We know you can do it. Are you done? It was 4.30 a.m. We loaded up the bikes in a U-Haul and headed to our very first location at 181st and Washington Heights. The moment of truth had arrived. How the legs feeling, your muscles, your strength? I honestly feel like a million dollars for getting three hours of sleep. Um, no, I feel amazing. We just have to keep going. We're a little bit behind. How long were we in there? About six minutes. That sucks! Okay, I have to start cutting the line. We've been doing this for seven hours. Um, I just kind of realized that we've only been focusing really on the west side. We still have the entire east side to go, which is um, very stressing me out, and I am a little worried. Um, I'm still feeling um, pretty good, um, considering um, that I've had about um, eight espresso shots in the past three hours. It's 2.45, we've been doing this for nine hours. Maybe I should have been Applebee's. It's 
hour 12, I think I've been a little cocky. Um, um, my leg is bothering me, it's kind of throbbing. I think I've been pushing um, a little too much. Um, and uh, the thing is, is that we still have uh, seven plus hours to go. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. Um, my body is tingling. Um, I can barely keep it together. And um, this is another espresso. Um, I I I'm going batty. I knew I couldn't keep up the pace any longer. I was going to collapse. Thankfully, help was on the way. Back on track. I had hit all the locations that closed at 9, but still had dozens that closed at 10, 11, midnight, and beyond. Then disaster. The store was closed. It was all over. Or was it? The sign said they were open until 11 p.m. But it says 11! No, 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 no! I need to do it in one day! 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 I need to do it every single Starbucks in one day! I started at 5.30 this morning on, on, on 181st Street. It says 11. Please, can I give you $20 for one biscotti? I'll give you $40 for one biscotti. I'll give you $60 for one biscotti. I'll give you $80 for one biscotti, please. You can, okay, I can just give you the money. You can give it to me. That's fine. I got my biscotti, and he only took a dollar. I was back. Then another snag. I had arrived 12 minutes after closing at 96th and Madison. This time, when I offered a bribe, the employee quickly accepted. $80 for a piece of pound cake. I, I love you. What's your name? Jenny, I'm Mark Malkoff. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. The setback had put me behind. If I ever hoped to pull it off, I knew it would be a sprint to the finish. It was 2.56 a.m. And I thought back to all the people who didn't think I could do it. No, I think that's totally impossible. No. 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 Not within a lifetime. There's no chance. Dude, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. We're looking for the last Starbucks. It's in the Columbus Circle area somewhere. Um, I'm, we're just trying to figure out where it is. And then I can actually go home and sleep. But here I was, 22 hours later, hobbled, fatigued, and a bit delirious. Then, there in the blackness of the New York night, I saw it. This is it! This is it! This is it! Final score! Final score! Final score! Oh my gosh! Yes! I did it. I learned that nothing is impossible. That Jenny, the barista at 96th and Madison, charges $80 for pound cake. And that I wouldn't be drinking Starbucks for a long time to come. But for now, I could check another obsession off my list.